guys, Will here with WTF Car Reviews, and today we're going to be reviewing this 2022 Chevy Silverado LT High Country. And before we start, I'd like to give a huge thanks to Mark and Laura here at Furman Chevy in Brandon, Florida for making this review possible. These guys have an impressive inventory. I'll leave a link to it below. And if you're in the market for a new car or truck in the Tampa area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out. And I promise within the next week or two, I'll be able to get you guys the updated 2022 Silverado, the new interior. This should be the last time we review an LT version of the Silverado on this channel. But here for 2022, the high country trim, top of the line when it comes to luxury, truly luxurious outside. Really liking the styling, especially with this cherry red metallic. Looks fantastic. Old school LED headlights from Silverado. Still a really aggressive front end, high country etched in the grill. The grill lets a lot of opening in for this 5.3 liter Ecotec V8 with cylinder deactivation. However, even with cylinder deactivation, you can expect around 15 city, 19 highway miles per gallon combined, 17, 18 MPGs, depending on how heavy of a foot you have. Really liking the exterior styling though, really clean look for this premium luxury truck. The wheel and tire setup is also impressive. I'm liking these 22 inch rims wrapped in 275 50 R22 Bridgestone Alenza all season tires. Some of the best all seasons in the business. No, not an all terrain. So don't expect to be really digging through mud in your high country Silverado. That's not what this truck's about. Although this particular Silverado does have four x four with four wheel drive auto. Really, I wouldn't expect you to be taking this off-roading. Really liking this wheel and tire setup. I would wish for the high country we had a little bit more like a black accent for the rim. However, it's still a super clean look. We get a power deploying running board, which is really quick. Seems even quicker than the GMC Sierra for how quickly it deploys. Out rear, we have the same wheel and tire setup, but a smaller brake caliper. This truck, of course, live rear axle sitting on leaf springs. Out rear, LED taillights, uh, reverse lights, parking sensors for the front and rear, if we didn't mention tow hitch beneath. I'll show you guys what this vehicle is rated to tow right over here. We get the multifunctional tailgate, which functions as a tailgate step. And it could also hold some extra stuff in place. So if you're carrying wood, you don't want to just flying right outside of your bed, making you have to park on the side of the road to go pick up all your junk. So this vehicle really takes care of all the issues that a lot of truck owners may have. The step is truly one of the best in the business, better than Ford, way better than the Ram and the Titan. I haven't really gotten the chance to check out the new Toyota Tundra, but so far the GM step is truly a game changer. The pockets for the step also pop out. You can throw some speakers in, really liven the party up. 12 tie downs in all corners with LED lighting in the bed too. Really easy to get in and out of this bed. Fantastic process, huge thumbs up. We get a push to open fuel tank and this 5.3 liter Ecotec accepts 87 octane fuel. So you can save a little bit of fuel at the pump despite getting about 16 to 18 miles per gallon combined. So I guess that's a little bit of a plus side. That's about it though for this exterior. I'll let you guys check out this window sticker, really see everything that this vehicle features right over here. The 2022 Silverado 1500 LT High Country comes standard with a ton of advanced safety features, such as lane departure warning, blind zone alert. Mechanically, we get an auto locking rear differential, automatic two speed transfer case, 170 amp alternator, stability track with trailer sway controller, trailer brake controller. We get this advanced trailering display, eight inch diagonal touchscreen, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Pretty decent sound system too, definitely nothing to complain about. Inside we get the dual zone climate control, power bucket seats, heated and ventilated, heated steering wheel, leather wrapped steering wheel, heated front seats. Outside we get full LED lighting, even for the tail lights, and the bed has 12 tie downs, spray and bed liner, LED lighting even for the bed, really impressive guys. This vehicle also gets the high country deluxe package, which gives you a ton of extra luxury goodies as well as advanced safety features, well not advanced safety features, but safety features, auto emergency braking, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, but you guys can pause, take a look at all of those. After a few options, you can expect total vehicle price to be around 66,000 bucks. But that's better for the outside of this 2022 Chevy Silverado LT High Country. Let's start this 5.3 liter Ecotec up and hear how she sounds. All right, guys, that was, of course, the sound of the 5.3 liter Ecotec V8 sold by Chevy for this 2022 Silverado LT High Country. As soon as we figure out this latch, we can pop this hood, which does get hydraulic struts, so thumbs up for that. But here you have it. Here's your 5.3 liter Ecotec making 355 horsepower, 383 pound-feet of torque. I apologize for the wind. That's why we did the beginning of this video inside of the car. Really windy day. Loving the supports for the GM trucks. That's why they feel 
really nimble compared to the competition. So not the fastest, but more than quick enough. Definitely gets this vehicle out of its own way. And really loving that front styling. You have fog lights beneath, tow hooks, all chrome. Really signature look for this high country. Um, but as far as the interior, let's get out of this wind and really check it out. LED taillight on the really massive, massive outside mirror. Smart access for the driver and the front passenger. Nothing out rear, unfortunately. Not the biggest deal, though. I really love this cherry metallic. Look at that. Such a fantastic color. But as far as the interior, let's take a step inside and really check it out. So we get soft touch for the upper portion, middle portion, all stitched. Stitch for the armrest, super soft. Wood grain trim, it's not open pour, it has a laminate to it, but still looks fantastic. I'm liking this aluminum chromish looking trim outside of it. Auto one touch for the front, two uh, passengers, no dual pane windows, unfortunately. A lot of the competition does get dual pane windows, but this 2022 LT High Country does not get dual pane windows. Hard touch outside, good storage pocket, no two tier storage like we got with the GMC trucks. You can fit a foot long here, no problem. Probably a 16 ounce and a big gulp right next to it. Bose Premium Audio System 2, power deploying running boards, and they deploy really quickly. Check this out. So as soon as they close up, we can open up this door and immediately, boom, just shoots right out. Really quick process, but the seats, pretty comfortable. Not the updated interior, as we mentioned, but still a really luxurious interior. The materials where you're gonna be touching are all high quality. Two-way lumbar, you can recline, drop, lift, and slide the seats. Leather, perforated, heated, and cooled high country badging for the headrest. But as far as the interior itself, high country nameplate stepping inside. But let's get out of this wind and really check it out. First thing I noticed, steering wheel, pretty thick, no 10 and 2 bolstering, unfortunately. You can hear those running boards getting back into their place. You get a six o'clock spoke, Chevy badge in the middle, rubberized texture as far as the horn. Super aggressive sounding horn. People should definitely be getting out of your way. You get this bronze aluminum plastic looking trim throughout this entire interior for your high country. Not the biggest fan. I know if you guys saw my Acura MDX tech video, I know not all of you really like that bronze aluminum look. To the left of the steering wheel, we get our tow haul mode, four wheel drive, fog lights. You can turn them on, off, and your zone lights. Parking brake, hood latch release, and hopefully you can get a good look at your pedals. One complaint that I have for the high country, I would expect a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. As far as the steering wheel controls, cruise control on the left side, forward collision alert, heated steering wheel, which is also nice, voice commands, and you can adjust your infotainment cluster. Right now we're looking at a digital speedo with traffic sign recognition. Up top we get our oil temperature, coolant temperature, gas level, and voltometer. All really nice to see at all times. We can adjust between information, music, heads up, turn by turn when the GPS is connected. This vehicle is currently in demo mode, so we're not gonna be doing any of the navigations, but anyway. We can check out everything else as far as the adjustments. This is all you can adjust. But my personal favorite to look at at all times would just be the digital speedo. So we'll leave it there. To the left, we get a 5,700 RPM tech. On the right, 140 mile an hour speedometer. Not bad. As far as the wipers, they are not rain sensing, unfortunately. Kind of would be expected for a vehicle in this price range, but you can adjust the intermittent function right over there. Auto headlamps with auto high beams, also nice. Stitch dashboard, all pretty high quality. As far as the touch screen, we can check it out. Uh, we can, okay, so as far as the nav, hopefully we get a screen. Okay, cool, we do get the screen and it's actually surprisingly responsive. Wow, okay, pretty good resolution too. Definitely a thumbs up for GM. Can't wait to see the updated interior. That bronze aluminum looking trim right around it. Air vents, good location, dual zone auto climate, heated and ventilated seats. We can turn the ventilated seats on for the purpose of this review. Lane keep assist, parking distance, electronic tailgate hazards, trash control, embed lighting, and you can deploy your running boards manually right over here. AC adapter, pretty good for a job site. 12 volt for radar tech, your USB-C and USB trailer brake controller. Giant wireless charging pad, good spot for a storage compartment. Wood trim for where your knee will often hit. I would kind of prefer to have some soft touch over here. Nice chrome reflective trim. Solid storage pocket right outside of it. Two cup holders with a uh, spot for not quite sure what you would fit there. Maybe like a pack of cigarettes. Good spot for a phone for this pass-through. The armrest, massive. Really soft, too. High quality. Good spot for a phone in the middle, too. As far as the armrest space, you guys know it. The GM trucks have a massive center console. If you're fitting a bowling ball, maybe even two in here. You probably fit a six-pack of two-liter bottles. It's that big. USB-C, USB, and an aux port. Really impressive. Two tiers for the glove box up top. Not the most space. As you know, you probably get a pair of gloves. Maybe one shoe in there. As far as the lower tier, 
pretty decently sized. You easily fit in a pair of shoes with no problem. Probably between 15, 20 license plates. Not a frameless rear view mirror, but it is auto dimming. We get a sunroof to slide. You just pull back and it opens right up. Not a panoramic. It doesn't continue out to the rear. And as you see, really windy day today in Brandon, Florida, Tampa, Florida. We can shut this thing right up. We can leave the shade open, however, and this button opens up your fifth window right back to get rid of any wind buffering that you may experience with the windows down. That's about it though for this front seat. Really luxurious, surprisingly luxurious. I can't wait to see the post refresh. I know most of you guys are feeling the same way. Let's check out the back seat real quick, see how much space is offered back there, as well as the overall quality of the materials. All right guys, so to get into the back seat, you simply open the door. Of course, the running boards are still out here. Soft touch for the entire, entire door panel, solid storage, easily fitting like a big gulp in there. It's just not the best shape, so make sure the lid is nice and tightly closed. No auto one touch out rear. Still got the aluminum door handle. Massive leg room. We'll check that out in one second. The seats also super comfortable. Secret storage back here. You can pop these seats up. You get a flat floor. You can put a sleeping bag down there. So an emergency situation, you can spend the night in your high country Silverado. A little bit of storage beneath as well of course the second seat does the exact same thing but we can shut this thing up right there it takes a little bit of effort but it is a truck nevertheless as far as legroom you guys can see i'm six feet tall sitting behind my seat settings and i still have a ton of space almost a foot of legroom map pocket behind both the front seats air vents no third zone climate that would be nice usb c usb port and an additional 12 volt that's about it though as far as this little armrest it does get a string we can pop it open right here not the biggest spot for padding Nothing like the Ram 1500. Same design cup holders as up front. You can shut this thing up. The interior lights include LEDs. That's nice. And two cup holders, just like most of the trucks in the segment. The air vents are on the console, not in the B pillars. The sunroof brings in a decent amount of light. It would be nice to get a panoramic, but no complaints. Still nice to get a sunroof. That's about it, though, for the back seat. Let's take this 2022 Silverado LT High Country out for a drive. All right, guys. Now we're just about seeing everything we need to see with the inside and outside of this 2022 Chevy Silverado High Country. Let's take it out for a drive. And the first thing I noticed is that gear selector is always something to get used to because 99% of vehicles that I've driven just don't have that. And I also like the steering rack in the GM trucks. You guys know it. GM has probably the best steering rack out of all full-size trucks. It makes them feel significantly smaller than they really are. And taking a step right here. Good throttle response. Wow. Go to about 2500 and this thing actually pulls surprisingly hard we got some open road coming up right here let's try an acceleration off the line all right guys off the line Ooh. Ooh. yeah this thing moves it feels surprisingly quick it's not going to feel anywhere near as quick as the 6.2 variant but for a 5.3, it pulls surprisingly hard. We got the tight roundabout coming up over here. Should give us a good opportunity to see how this truck can handle. And this road's got some serious bumps. We'll see how this truck's composure is over them right here. Boom, wow. Surprisingly composed, big one. Ooh, wow. <laughs> we took the 2022 Veloster N out on the same road. And you should see, I would almost get a concussion every time we would hit the bumps. Body roll is surprisingly limited. Huge bumps coming up. Won't even slow down. Ooh, wow. This thing is an absolute beast. And we're only rolling with Bridgestone Alenza tires. I can only imagine what like the trail boss would feel like out on this road. Really impressive. Like third throttle response is instant. Super responsive 5.3 liter engine. Ooh, yeah. Handles the bumps fantastically. We could slow down a little bit try a rolling start and see like what a moving pull would feel like on the gas oh guys this thing is surprisingly quick i was always wondering why they never put like the 5.3 liter engine in other vehicles throughout chevy's lineup maybe make a mid trim camaro i know chevy's planning on discontinuing the camaro but i always wondered why they never tried throwing the 5.3 into it maybe having like a charger rt competitor where you can charge like around the $28,000 price range. I know we now have the LT1 trim, which basically does exactly that, but not to the same degree because it still starts around like a $34,000, $35,000 mark. If we could have gotten like a 5.3 Ecotec in the Camaro starting around like 29 grand, I think that would have been a really good seller. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think 
but all in all i'm loving this high country it has a great ride to it fantastic composure it's surprisingly smooth even over massive bumps that i have really been tossed around in other vehicles on this channel same road same road this vehicle feels like an actual luxury truck very comparable it's like the ram 1500 limited with an air suspension so overall really impressive i would definitely recommend anybody looking for a full-size luxury truck to check this one out because now that this is running out of production we're about to get the updated interiors you could probably get some really impressive deals and incentives on the lt silverado so if you're in the market for a full-size truck i would definitely recommend checking this one out other than that though i'd like to give a huge thank you to Furman chevrolet here in brandon florida for making this review possible really impressive dealership super kind staff i'll definitely recommend anybody in the tampa florida area looking for a new car or truck to check these guys out and huge thanks to all you guys for watching again i really enjoyed making this video really impressive full-size truck if you're new to this channel please subscribe if you've already subscribed thank you so much you guys know i have endless gratitude for all the subscribers you know the channel is just not possible without you guys and i really appreciate all the constant support but again if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe leave a like too it really helps me out the youtube algorithm that's how these videos get promoted to new people leave a comment let me know what you like let me know what you don't like leave a comment let me know if there's any specific cars or trucks you'd like to see reviewed in this channel too and i'll definitely try to get those videos for you as soon as possible but again thank you so much for watching and i hope all of you have a great day